Hi, Paul here from P.O. Wilson Media, your social media personal trainer, walking through all the new things on LinkedIn, and this is about your connections today. So you go to the area that says My Network, and here you can see, again, a, instead of sub-menus from there, where you could say, invite your friends, this is the C who you already know, um, all the separate things like exporting your connections, that's all... It's still possible, I had a look through earlier, but uh, it's a little bit more involved. So first you have to go to see all, to your connections. And the view you've got is sort by recently added, which was the standard on the previous version. You can sort by first name, last name, but you can't tag people anymore. You can't, I guess LinkedIn felt that it wasn't being used enough, so you can't put people into categories of how you know them. Uh, so what can you do? Well, you, if you wanted to Im export everybody that you know on LinkedIn into one manageable list, as you could do previously, that advanced connection is not there, but it does say manage imported contacts. But well, if I click on that, bizarrely, when you come through to that, because that's obviously imported into, obviously it goes through your address book and sees who you can import into it. But instead of that, here under Advanced Actions, I can select Export Contacts. And actually, as I've just done this previously, um, I've requested an archive. So what's happened is now, instead of just a list of contacts, you get an entire archive, um, which you can then download to your computer. That There's a first installment, which is the connections, and then there's a second one, which is all the people, everything that you've done on LinkedIn, a complete record. So clearly it's not just something that you can do from time to time. It's, you know, you, you get the whole archive and uh, you have to obviously wait a period of time because they're going to email you that they've updated the archive and all this sort of thing. So that's different again. we come back to it again. At least on the positive side, we've got rid of this crazy... Um, uh, congratulate them on their work anniversary or you know well done they've got a new job position or whatever um, I'll just go through to uh, one of my connections let's pick out that one and see what information I can see about them how that's changed so I get this sort of background profile view I can see here the contact and personal information that was there with another tab that said relationship where you could do all the tagging and stuff. So you can get the contact information, you can see who you've got in common. Uh, I can click, I can't click on the connections there, but I can click here and say see connections. And obviously the ones that we've got in common would be on the shared. So in summary, uh, Connections has in some ways been limited in terms of what you can do with the information, but um, I'm not getting a prompt to endorse people for skills, which is a relief because uh, that was always irritating. Uh, you obviously can scroll through the whole profile and if you want to give them endorsements for things, you can do that. So some ways it's simplified and in some ways being able to export everything is still there in fact you can export even more information but just being able to organize your connections one by one seems to have gone away not enough people were doing that i guess anyway that's it for now uh paul from pr wilson media your social media personal trainer check out the youtube channel pr wilson media and you'll find over 100 free social media training videos like this one It'll step you through all the things and, in some cases, all the changes that have happened. Take it easy.